presentation software in my case i'm using powerpoint so after i've launched it i'll go to blank presentation then i will import the file safety so from here i'll go to new slide then i will go to slide from outline and the name of the file for me to import is safety so i'll go to uh, my source file which is on my desktop um safety okay here is it okay i pick it safety the question say a slide but because i have imported i have nice i'm going to delete the first one yes delete the first one just click on it and press the delete key then um the next thing to do is unless otherwise instructed the slide must display a title and a bulleted list so you can look through that you have tied to bulleted list across all the slides okay good then the next thing to do is create um use a master slide to display only the following features only so i'll go to view go to slide master then i scroll up to primary slide master okay good a first slide here then i'll come back the question says use a master slide to display only the following features so i'm going to display automatic slide numbers on the top left here is it on the top left so i'll take it to top left so i can uh change the alignment to left so that i can come to this left so for that reason i may decide to adjust this a bit so that this can you know occupy that then i have it here then the next one is um the company logo which is called logo position on the top right so i'm going here still on the primary slide master then i make sure i go to insert pictures then i pick the source file folder okay paper 2 here is the logo and i have it so i position it to the top right according to the instruction so i may decide to you know just open it up a bit then the next one is um your name seller number cardinal number so the next thing for me is to click the name so i go to insert header and footer i will um, activate slide number then the footer where i want to put name name center number and candidate number all right then i can also do this once and for all copy it and do it for notes and handouts in case the instruction somewhere will ask me to print for that then i click apply to all so having done this then what's the next thing okay good the next thing is um make sure that master slide items appear in the same position every slide no items overlap on any slide so this is for two marks that's fine then number 20 a title slide layers is applied with no bullets okay format slide one format slide one so after i'm done with this i can come back to view go back to normal then slide one i'll come to slide one i can come to home tab and i change the layout so title slide according to the instruction so that's for slide one then the next thing is uh, uh the title and subtitle text are center aligned and in the middle of the slide that's exactly because i picked the right layout which is title layout then delete the slide with the titles gaming benefits and negative effects of gaming gaming benefits and negative effects so i'll just oh gaming benefits i'll delete this click on it press delete key and advantage according to the question and uh, negative effects of gaming negative effects of gaming here is it so i'm going to delete it then uh, delete slide okay good then the next one is um step 22 use data in the file ratings to create a vertical bar chart to show the number of ratings given to each age category in 2023 only 
then display with labels the age categories on the category axis and number of games on the value axis then the next one is do not display legend so i'm going to do this one after the other using the uh, file so i'll go to file folder what's the name of the file again ratings so i'm going to open ratings ratings open okay good let me zoom in so that i can see this clearly okay so i have this then the next thing to do is um um create a vertical bar chart to show the number of ratings given to each age category in 2023 only in 2023 only okay so far it's 2023 only so i can do it so many ways i can select from here then press and control key for multiple selection to show 2023 only notice that there is no need for total for year because say the categories of different categories of ages 3 to 18 so i have to select that so the number of cells i selected here is the same year so i can do that then after that the next thing to do is to create a vertical byte bar chart okay vertical bar chart so i'll come to insert recommended chart and i pick vertical bar chart so i have this okay oh, you realize that rating category has been picked so it's not part of what we need so we can delete this because it's not part we are supposed to pick for ages for ages so i'm going to click only this and delete just this okay oh sorry then i might need to select that again let me go to select data and i pick the correct thing for this so this shouldn't be part of its rating then i should have this good so then i have for ages ages 3 to age 18 then the next thing to do according to the instruction is um for each age category in 2023 only display with labels the age categories on the category axis age categories so i'll come here to the magical plus to add element then i'll go to axis title so i'm going to have for this age categories age categories for the category axis and the next one is uh, um and the number of games on the value axis number of games on the value axis so i'm going to edit it number of games all right good so i can you know adjust this so that it will appear normal okay i may decide to have this and take it that way okay good then the next thing is um according to instruction is that do not display a legion so legion is not display not display you can see that then the next one is um label the chart as follow chart tied to rating of games in 2023 rating of games in 2023 so i'll come here select it rating of games in 2023 rating of games in 2023 and then category axis title should be age category okay which has been set age category okay good then the next thing is um display only the data values along the top of each bar only the data okay it, so i click on this then i go to data levels only the data levels along the top of each bar which has been done then format the value axis scale to display a minimum of value of zero and a maximum of 560 so I'll come here if I click on it for my axis so I have it the minimum zero the maximum 560 then uh, the increment that is of 70 so I'll change this to 70 ok 
okay good the increment so I have something like this okay good then the next thing is the next is uh, um, according to the instruction um, place the chart to the left of the bullets on the slide with the title game ratings so I'm gonna copy this copy this and take it to game ratings sorry game ratings here is it to the left so I'm going to adjust this using the placeholder okay good and here I paste all right take it to the left of it then I you know bring it up okay I think this is better now this is better now okay good good then the next thing is um um make sure no words in the chart are split all data and labels are fully visible the chart and the content do not overlap any slide at all okay no words in the chart are split okay no word in the chart as leads fully visible and uh, no content overlap nothing is overlapping here then um the next instruction will be on the slide with the title game ratings format the text age classification so that when clicked it opens the document with the file name categories.csv that is hyperlink so on the slide with the title game ratings so i'm going to okay here is game ratings then um the next thing is that format the text age classification so that when it is clicked age classification so that when it is game ratings we have age classification here okay here is it okay so that when it is clicked according to the instruction it opens the document with the file name co2 categories so i right click on it and i go to hyperlink then i say current folder that is the folder i'm going so the current folder is uh, on my desktop my desktop The name of the folder is this okay good so that it goes to categories according to the instruction when click on so it opens up and i say okay so you can see the blue line it shows that there's an hyperlink there then take a screenshot to show that the text links to the correct file place this in your evidence document so to do that i can come here again select this right click and go to edit hyperlink so that it can show this edit hyperlink and then i go to uh the folder where i have this which is desktop in my case desktop and the file is this paper 2 and then classification classification according to the instruction i mean sorry um categories rather so i'm going to take a screenshot to show that this has been done good i may even take you alongside this i take it in my evidence document and i paste it in my evidence document then the next one is um add the following text as presenter and or speaker note to the slide with the title game ratings game ratings so I go back game ratings say okay game yeah here is it game ratings to put presenters notes I'll click on notes here I can even open it up to see it clearly notes so what am I typing in the notes area rating guidance else parents rating guidance else parents to do what was the next thing parents make Info, informed choices make 
in the form so is this okay then print only this slide as presenter or speaker note for two marks presenter or speaker note so with this while still on this uh, particular slide so what i do is i go to file print and i'll go to instead of print all slide i, I go to print current slide then it's going to print it now to show the presenter's notes i'll go to notes page okay here is the presenter's notes so i can zoom this so that everything will be so clear all right you see that then i print this hit the print button for it to come out from the printer you can see your name and center number is clearly put there you can see that here so the next thing is uh, step 29 save the presentation then print slide one two three and four only as handouts in portrait orientation okay let me do that so i'll go back file print one two three four print all slide print all slide and then the question says uh, print one two three and four only as handout in portrait so i can select it one two three four one two three four so you see the way i press and control or you just select it this way one press and control key two three four according to instruction then you come to file then come to print and print selection so just those four are selected already you can see the four then to print it as a handout according to the instruction in portrait orientation and outs so you come here and out um check that again as a and out with two slide on each page so i'm going to come here two slide on each page okay what else and with each slide filling half of the page so i have this and i'm going to print selection because i've already selected the four that they asked me and now since i'm printing two to a page i have two uh sheets to be printed you can see that you can see that okay good then the next thing is um you just hit the print button so i have that then the next thing is uh, the printing of evidence document please take note all the evidences you have taken you are supposed to print the document so yes my evidence document so all the evidences i've taken from the beginning so i have it the next thing is just to go to file go to print and hit the print button and it comes out from the printer so these are the evidences you have taken so far so good now we have come to the end of this paper this is paper 2 february march 2024 now the solution in this video will really help you to prepare for your exam please like this video drop your comments in the comment section box then um, share it with other people and very important you need to subscribe to this video so that to this channel rather so that you can get first-hand information about new upload thank you see you in the next video bye for now